The part of Merleheim Mall designated as the future Des Moines Bucks arena looked like this just days ago. And there's been plenty of excitement for the rink's grand opening. I think Merleheim Mall could use the um, could use the traffic. I think it'd be a bigger a bigger so attraction. More, yeah. It'd have a lot more flow probably. But now the lot's purpose has shifted to Spirit Halloween. The mall's director of leasing, Jared Hassman, says the deal is temporary. We realize that as we continue to work towards uh, uh, the arena becoming an absolute reality. Uh, we had time to bring Spirit Halloween in for a seasonal deal. They'll be out just after Halloween. He also says there is no further delay of the arena at this time, although no construction date has been released. However, the mall's legal battle with Icon Architectural Group, the group laying out the designs of the future arena, continues. There have been several filings since the company claimed the Bucks' ownership hasn't paid for their designs, which, paired with the Spirit Halloween sign, has some people concerned. Yeah, I've heard of some delays. I'm not sure what's causing them, which is kind of what's surprising about it. Um, especially now with the Halloween sign up. Hassman remained firm in saying the Halloween store won't impact the arena. A seasonal tenant like Spirit Halloween's really important to overall traffic and regular. And no, it doesn't make me concerned at all. The Buccaneers home opener is scheduled for Saturday, September 30th at their original home in Urbandale on Hickman Drive. I reached out to the Buccaneers via phone today, but they did not get back to me. Outside the Merle Hay Mall, Ethan Humble, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.